Rapid Application Development, usually just known as RAD, is an iterative type of software development, although it still relies heavily on the use of prototypes. With RAD, the focus is on speedy development, aiming to build and deliver a functional application as quickly as possible. Systems are built using reusable components or modules where possible, and a series of working prototypes is developed to refine and confirm the requirements. There will be constant communication with users to ensure that the product meets their expectations. A lot of effort will go into development rather than formal documentation, and each prototype phase has strict deadlines which are called time boxes to keep progress rapid and focused. The main advantage of RAD is its very fast development. It's great for tight deadlines or competitive markets. User involvement is high, ensuring the final product meets all the user needs. Feedback-driven changes can be made quickly and flexibly. Prototypes reduce risk as users see and test working versions before final release. And reusing existing components can reduce workload and improve reliability. A disadvantage of RAD is that rapid iterations can cause scope creep with less control over schedule and budget. It also needs experienced programmers and constant user involvement. The focus on speed may lead to less attention to security, documentation, or scalability, and prototypes may not easily evolve into robust full-scale systems, and it may be unsuitable for complex applications. RAD is most suitable for projects that need fast delivery, such as a mobile app for an upcoming event with a quick launch deadline. It's also good for user interface-heavy applications where visual design will be based on user feedback. Also, projects where requirements are likely to evolve and may need refinement and short-term or temporary applications like campaign-specific apps or demos. RAD is suitable when a fast delivery is needed, as it prioritizes speed through prototyping and time-boxed phases. It's also good when requirements may change, as it allows for flexibility and adjustment during development. It's also beneficial for users who need early interaction, as for prototypes and continuous feedback is central to RAD. However, it's unsuitable for large, complex, or critical systems as it lacks structure and scalability. It's not good for limited resources or engagement as it requires skilled teams and users who can be easily contacted. And finally, it's not so good when security, reliability, or regulation are critical as there's less documentation and it may not suit these types of systems.